Hello, xin chào, this is Von Ho again and this is gonna be the last video in my multiple videos series sharing with you the 9 tips on how the Vietnamese people prepare to celebrate the, the Vietnamese New Year But first, how would you like an ongoing supply of free reports, helpful resources and unique cultural insights for meeting, dating and marrying a Vietnamese woman? too easy just take a quick moment to subscribe and click the bell icon and you'll never miss out again before i get it started right into the topic uh, let me just remind you real real quick okay i hope that by sharing this information with you for those of you especially for those of you who would like to have or already have a serious relationship and even a marriage with a vietnamese lady because once you understand or at, at least have some ideas, general ideas about how we celebrate our uh, Vietnamese New Year, then you can support your lady or you can also yourself participate in to celebrate it with her and her family. Then um, you're definitely going to score a big, big credit you're gonna you definitely gonna score big uh, with her family you're gonna impress her and her family especially you're gonna make your lady really happy because that happened to me and uh, Alex in our relationship uh, like I've been sharing with you uh, my story our story that Alex even though he's Vietnamese but he uh, I should say like he like 80 to 90 percent is uh, Americanized so and he wasn't born or never been in Vietnam before so therefore when he when we first met and until now I still have been in introducing him into our tradition Vietnamese uh, tradition and cultures as well okay and I'm happy I'm really really happy and he really have has been impressed me and my family uh, so much year after year that um, what he been uh, planning to and uh, willing to learn and adapt okay so uh, you can do the same thing yeah and i definitely i strongly believe that you definitely gonna be able to build a happy long lasting relationship or marriage with your vietnamese lady as well by getting to know her cultures her traditions especially um the lunar new year the vietnamese new year is the biggest celebration of the year and in our culture uh, just like in the western countries especially in america uh, in the u.s we celebrate christmas for two weeks right in vietnam it's uh, almost the same or we uh, the vietnamese people are taking off even more days off on uh, to celebrate uh, new years more than uh, christmas that we celebrate christmas here in the u.s it depends on the company, on the corporations, or on the job, on on the business. Uh, some businesses they um, they decided to go with the feng shui as well as their they believe into the year they were born and uh, all of those stuff. Some of the businesses they stay closed for a month or so, three weeks, a month, or even five weeks because they make sure that when they first open on the new year they have to open until the best date that match with their age their feng shui that will bring them the best luck for for the upcoming year and this coming year is going to be the ox the year of the ox and the year that we celebrate right now we uh we still in right now this is the last month almost like december of the lunar new year uh, the lunar calendar this is the year of the rat um, and we've been having so much going on so everybody really really excited and looking forward to the new year, the upcoming year the year of the apps let me share with you the last three um, information are three things that Vietnamese people prepare for uh, our new year celebration okay uh, the next thing that um, I know that a lot of you as no, I shouldn't say that. I know that a lot uh, of your ladies would be so happy uh, to do, which is uh, getting new clothes. Especially the, for the first, if you can afford it, uh, then the f especially, I have to say majority 
uh, the Vietnamese people would wear a brand new outfit on the New Year's Day just for good luck, just for something new, just for whatever the bad or unhappy uh, from the past year gonna be gone, bygone, be gone. So we want to start fresh, new, completely uh, excited to get ready for the upcoming year. So uh, I recall at a time when um, my dad just got back from uh, the camp because he's, uh, he was a, a U.S. veteran in Vietnam, right? Uh, and my mom, and uh, at the time we didn't have much money as I've been sharing with you because after the Vietnam War, a lot of us were struggling, right? Financially, therefore, um, my parents they have they have done their best to make sure that my brother, my sister, and I myself had a new outfit, one new outfit for the new year. And as we um, our financial uh, situation improved, we have we can you can have two, three. Nowadays, as an adult, you make money. You know, we you can have as many as you want, but at least one. Or for those um, people who live in the countryside or if they don't have as much money or financially struggle, uh, hand out clothes from someone or use clothes that is still uh, looking nice and clean. Um, it's still, they still consider it as a new clothes, okay? So they can wear it on the New Year's Day. Yeah, so uh, go shopping for that. That's this, uh, I definitely know that your lady are excited about it okay so like new shoes new outfit you know everything new top to bottom the same thing uh, I have to say you know because a woman loves shopping for clothes more than men but then we also do that for men or for boys I recall my brother had that too so everyone in the family have a, one at least one new outfit in shoes or you know sandals for the New Year's Day to dress up for the New Year's Day okay so that is really or something is really important to keep in mind as well and then uh, in Vietnam for I, I know that like uh, at the time I was grow, I'm, I'm just want to share with you some tradition and the the differences as well as the time I was grown up you know wearing uh, yai. this is another um, Vietnamese traditional dress but nowadays uh, this why why I'm wearing this to, in this video with you is because we also believe in yellow and red like I've been sharing with you from my other videos is as a good luck color for New Year's for marriage for relationship anything good luck is supposed to be red and yellow and gold in a Vietnamese culture right but now this is a, a they call this a more, more modern modernized style as you can see they I have this too this modernized style compared to versus the, the ones that I've been wearing most on most of my videos which is like a more traditional one with the cola right here, cola right here, right? High cola and all. But this like nowadays like a Vietnamese people, they especially ladies or even men too, we um, we mix up different style, make it more modernized because the younger uh, generation they like, they the, they don't feel comfortable with those tight clothes like my niece he she had a hard time uh, to wear that last year at uh, one of our cousins wedding in Vietnam but they like more like open up more comfortable you know more uh, movements so whatever uh, fit for them as you know oh yeah they make they make different so many so many different styles so if you're looking for something uh, meaningful a meaningful gift for your lady then you know take her to go shopping for one set or buy her one order one for her to send it to her house you can do that online nowadays you know uh, but um, as the time I was growing up this wearing this uh, for the younger for ladies is not that popular and then uh, for the last 10, 15 years, you know, I came back to the country and I always want to wear this on the New Year's. I, I went to the tailor and got it sold, right? Uh, before we didn't have it already made, but now we do in Vietnam and here in the US as well. And other country, some Asian markets, shops, boutiques, they do uh, have it. Or they can have someone from Vietnam made it for you and send it over, right? Already made. Or at the time we have 
we normally we would go to the tailor and get it measured and uh, and specifically make custom made for each of us um, but when i came back there my friend always was laughing at me because i said i want to go and get some ao yai for the new years um, and they're like oh my god because ao yai like traditional regular one uh, is more for the the staff at the, the hotels at uh you know like at some of the uh, tourist attractions places uh, tourist attractions tourist uh, places that to wear not to celebrate for New Year's so nowadays uh, like I said a lot of them uh, prefer to wear dresses new dresses or you know any nice outfit that I can afford or uh, and then the younger or if they wear out yeah they would wear more like uh, more modernized like this but for a lot of Vietnamese ladies who are living outside of Vietnam uh, we don't mind we love to wear out yeah as, as any as many times as we we, we can uh, even though we don't live we don't stay in Vietnam yeah we are addicted to it and like like you can see that almost every single videos I have been sharing with you on this channel I uh, I have worn uh, a different ao yai one different ao yai so I have like 60 70 of them now <laughs> by that time now so um, we love tradition you know we love to keep our traditions our cultures no matter where we at so therefore get to know it to it's gonna give you a great impression for your lady and your and her family and uh, the next information I would like to share with you is that we also uh, like um, we have this red I will show you some of the picture too we have this red with like um, a good luck or uh, some word in here that we after we got the fresh fruit like I share with you on the altar for pear a fresh fruit watermelon or a fresh fruit plate we will stick one of the threads for best luck for good luck on each of that and on the vase as well and flower vase in uh, Vietnamese culture uh, years ago we tend to also do a firework not the the the, the firework that on the air nowadays yes uh, they do do that too but uh, at the time they do they do the red one with the long 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 like depend on how much money you can spend one meter two meter five meter and then make the size for the last 15 years or so or 20 years or so the Vietnam government has asked to uh, for the common people not to do that on the New Year's Eve or, or during the New Year's days um, celebration because it's really dangerous because if you stand by it so close you may get burned and it's really uh, and then you can you know get injured or like a third degree burn and all that so it's really really dangerous so that's why they stop doing that kind of firework so what we did doing is that I recall when I came back to Vietnam around the time of the year celebration what they did is like they recorded in at the time it was a, a cassette now it's an mp3 or something or a tv and they just turned the sound on as the the sound of the fireworks that um, burning to make it sounded like uh, we celebrated uh, we we actually burned the fireworks the old style firework not the firework nowadays that we use with all the lighting on top on this uh, on the cloud on the sky and then we also uh, cook a different dishes traditional dishes to put it on uh, the altar to make a ceremony a small ceremony before the new year so we call that cung tat ning to end the, the old year and getting ready to welcome the new year uh, with some fresh fruit some candy Vietnamese candy cookies and then some traditional dishes um, food dishes that most of the family would have on those like especially on those three days we celebrate the the first three days the most important and the most glamorous uh, celebration celebration for the new for our new year and every day we cook different dishes so I go on to that on my next series when I share with you how we celebrate the new year this 
this is how we prepare so so and uh, the last thing I want to share with you is that uh, we prepare for New Year's Eve New Year's Eve day um, for the Buddhist people but then even if you're not Buddhist you know uh, it tend to be like a lot many Vietnamese people are gonna go to the temple uh, pagodas then uh, praying and came in there um, you know uh, praying and after that uh, what we call is that the, we get some luck which is like uh, at the temple or at pagodas they will have those trees and flowers like that and they put you know either the red envelope the head monk will give you like a little uh, kim kok or uh, orange as a good luck for you or and they they may put a dollars in here if you in the US or and then they or they may put a small um, a short poem for you to tell you like as a, a good luck or if you have a good year or if it's a, um, a average year common you know it's depend on your luck so you can get one each person get in line get one of that We would leave um, the the temple or the uh, pagoda, or everyone will come home. Try to come home before uh, midnight. To and then depend on your age, the year that you were born, according to the lunar calendar, such as if you are an ox, if you are a rabbit, or if you are uh, a dragon, then. Um, you will look into the, your age and then tell you like what you need to pray and uh, uh, for and what time you should uh, do the praying and do a little small ceremony in front of your house outside outdoor or at the balcony if you have a balcony and praying for you know take all the bad luck uh, from last year as well as you know asking to give you a better year uh, and praying for all the goodness coming to your way uh, so that's another thing that you have to do uh, actually before you go to the temple or the uh, pagodas and then after that you need to go home before midnight and then if you are a little um, superstitious but then I know that a lot of people who do businesses they believe in it and a lot of my friends families um, my friends and then a lot of uh, their families still doing it you know they just believe in it why not uh, we they rather prevent the bad luck coming to their life in the upcoming year uh right so what so they didn't mind to do it so they will um see if they own up the house for example if they were born on certain year as a certain animal then which of the other the other animal of the 12 zodiac any more the zodiac that compatible with them they would ask that person to come to their house become the first person knock on the door and walk into their house uh, right after midnight of the new year's uh, so new year's eve at like at 12 01 that person walk in or in the morning early in the morning and they, they make sure we will make sure that nobody else in the family especially the one that not compatible like the least compatible with the owner of the house uh, not supposed to be the first one shouldn't be the first one who walk in the door right after the clock turn into as a new year's day okay my dad always been doing like we ask around our friends who got the same compatible uh, like the most compatible age with the, my dad and then they we will ask them to come over and we call that some duck would mean that you step into the ground uh, uh, of the house for to bring good luck to them okay because if you're compatible with the owners the, the house owner then um, that all year everything he does will go smoothly uh, and good vibe good energy gonna come to him so for good luck okay all right so that's all that's the last three things I want uh, the last three information I would like to share with you first of all wear new clothes 
for you doesn't matter it's brand new or it's used but it's new clothes for you uh, on the new use day so make sure that you get that outfit and uh, ready before the new year and then the second thing is that uh, do a little ceremony uh, praying for your age for your year for the upcoming year at your home on the open uh, space uh, outside right in front of your door that's fine and then you can go and then the third one and then go to the pag uh, pagodas or temples pray and get some uh, good luck uh, good luck charm uh, i should say yeah good luck charm and then make sure that you come home before midnight just like cinderella you have to come home before midnight and then if you want to bring more good luck and get a little more into it then you can ask someone who are compatible someone you know who are compatible with you know whoever the owner of the place that you stay or the house that you stay or yourself uh, the most compatible uh, come to your house the first thing the first person coming as the new year's day's clock strike okay uh, to bring you good luck all year is that the Vietnamese people uh, prepare themselves and their family uh, to celebrate for the Lunar New Year for the Vin or we also call Vietnamese New Year and again if it's anything that you want me to go more into detail then don't hesitate to uh, put it down in the comment section with us I would uh, we would do our best to do that for you and again thanks for your time thanks for watching and thanks for your feedback uh, don't forget to subscribe if you have not and share with your friends uh, our videos if you think it's helpful and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming exciting videos to share with you again and again this is Von Ho I'm signing up I definitely see you on my next video Xin chào tạm biệt mọi người bye bye